Hello and welcome to the 36th video in this series, Beginning Programming in C. It's been a while since the last video because I've been finishing the iPad tutorial and the Chess Engine series, but now back to this. And we were in the middle of doing the tic-tac-toe game, and I think the, at the end of the last video, this get computer move function had been introduced and the computer made random moves on the board. Uh, making no attempt to win the game or anything. So now we're going to start a couple of videos implementing a bit more AI. And in this video we're going to make the computer actually go for a win if there is a win available on the board. And we're going to do this by writing a function above get computer move and we're going I'm going to call it get winning move like this. And as an argument we're going to take a pointer as always to our board and we'll also take a constant integer and this will be the side that's looking for the winning move. So it's actually quite simple to do this. All we need to do is we need to just loop through the board, put our naught or our cross, which is defined by side here, on the board, and then check whether we have three in a move, three in a row. And if we do, then we simply return that square where we got three in a row. So to do this, what we're going to return is our move and we'll set this to minus one to start with and we'll also set a flag when we're looping through the squares on the board to that we will set it to zero now called win move and it'll be set to one if we find a winning move so we can break out of our loop early and last but not least as usual an index for looping so we'll make our normal loop that we make index is naught and we'll say in fact actually I can be very lazy here and just go into get computer move and take the entire loop here and take this section out so we're at the stage now where we loop through all of our nine squares we get whatever is on that square using the convert to 25 and if that's empty then we can say okay the move we're making so our move is now equal to the internal 25 base square like this. And now what we need to say is that the board at the square of our move is now going to be set equal to side. And now we can say once we put our naught to our cross on that square if find 3 in a row and we send in the board our move and the side equals 3 then we know that we found a win so we can just say that win found equals 1 because adding our naught or cross at the board there now gives us a 3 in a row so we'll set win found equal to 1 the next thing we have to do which is crucial and easy to forget is now that we've done this we need to set the board back to empty here otherwise it'll actually be occupied because remember we're sending a pointer in so we're always changing our board so we'll set that back to empty and now we can say that if we found a win so if win found equals one then we can return already our move because that's the square we're going to move to to get the win otherwise we'll set our move back to minus one and we go round again and at the end of the function here, we can return our move in this way. In fact, an easier way, and a cleaner way of doing this probably is to put a break in here instead and we break out. So we only have one return statement inside the function here. So now we've written our get, get winning move. We need to be able to pass in the side that's moving. So down in get computer move, we need to add an argument in here and we need to add in the const int the side. And also inside get winning move, we are altering our board. Remember, we're putting things in the board and taking them out, which means we need to take this const off the get computer move definition now because we'll, it won't compile because we said it's going to be constant, but it's actually going to be changed now because we'll be calling the get winning move from get computer move. So we'll say that rand move now equals get winning oops, move and we'll send in our board and the side and we can say that if rand move is not equal to minus one which means we did get a winning move then we can return rand move otherwise rand move gets set back to zero here and this is a line that probably isn't in your code but is in my code because when I was preparing for this video I forgot to delete it out but we set rand move back to zero and then select a random move from the moves available if we can't find 
a winning move. So the last thing to do now is to go down into run game and where the computer move is called here obviously we need to add our argument side into this function and now we can move over to the terminal. I'm using a terminal now because I'm doing this on the Mac because I've got better recording software on the Mac and I was getting a bit sick of the one on Windows but code and everything else is identical and you should be familiar with the compiling and everything on Windows anyway if you're using Windows. Exactly the same commands here and it says here win found undeclared on 119. Why is it saying that? Have I forgotten to? Oops, yes, sorry. I called that wind move, not wind found. Okay. Save and I'll just compile again. Okay, it's compiled and now I can run it and on the Mac or Linux you run with the forward slash rather than just the basic CH36 as you would on Windows. So now let's enter some moves and hope that the computer puts itself in a situation where it's going to win. So it's moved on square 2 here, so I'll make a move on square 3. And now the computer has a win actually by placing a cross here. So if I put my move on square 9, and you can see that the computer has indeed gone for the win here and won the game. So that's it then for this video. In the next video we'll add some more AI and we'll have a look at the computer actually blocking the human from winning and also selecting its non-winning moves with slightly more logic but not yet perfect logic. So thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.